Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial. Before we get into it, check this out. I oh well, oh, there we go. I got a cape because Mo Yang launched scrolls today. So any or yesterday or something. Anyway, I'm Kaz for Grace. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these plug-in tutorials every week if you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do feel free to comment that in the jibbles below that's the comments section for you new people and uh, i will capture that and give you a shout out when i get to it like magic craft cz sons of liberty 796 and edwin 3150 so this plug-in tutorial is for you guys hopefully it helps you guys out i know it's a little bit delayed i've yeah, I only got so much time to do these things. This is actually so. This is chess commands by uh, chess commands GUI. It is a really cool plugin. I've recently come across it thanks to one of my mods on my fan server brought it up, and we use it a little bit on my fan server. And it's its possibilities are endless. It's so cool. You can make your own GUI, which I love. Any plugin that has a, a built-in GUI because I think that that visual aspect of it is awesome for anybody. You don't need to know all these commands. You just kind of look at the menu and go, yeah, yes, I want to run that command or I want to do that thing, and you just click on it. it. Makes it so much easier for your users. So. Um, it is actually made by Feely Ghost, and if you don't recognize that username, because I did, uh, it is the same guy who does the holographic displays, which is used all over the place. So that's really cool. Let's see how it looks. Couple things though before we do that. It does require Vault and some sort of economy plugin if you want to do economy things in it. If you want to charge money for doing certain commands or um, that kind of stuff. So by default, you got slash menu, which is going to open up a tutorial menu, which I've modified a little bit, added three new things down here. Um, so you can click on that and then you can actually open that back up by doing M and then re-enable that or we can open it by right clicking orange wool and we can check our ranks and then we can do a rank up thing, which is really cool. It plays a sound when you open it up and then you can close the menu with that option you can also uh, use a sign to open it up which i'm actually going to just hit right now so we do bracket menu and then the uh, menu that you want to open up which will this will make a little more sense once we look at the config file so we right click on that and then opens up the menu so you got so many options in here which we're going to go over when we are editing it so we do spawn we can do um, run a command from the console. You can do a permissions test. Like you need permissions to even view these menus sometimes if you want. You can run online players, the, user, the name, the name you're, you're in, and then money. You can uh, take... Um, you can take money and give a gold ingot, or you can take a gold ingot and give money, or whatever you want. This menu, this doesn't close the menu. Um, what else do we got? We got different formatting codes, data, um, run the command as op. So yeah, lots of things you can do. So let's talk about it. So in-game commands, which I'll show you the permissions as we're talking about these commands, will be on your screen. You got CC help, which is going to show list of commands where there's not a whole lot of commands in the game. And then you got uh, CC reload. Um, you got CC open and then the file. So this one actually, your players need this permission node to open the menu. So they will need C, uh, chess commands dot open dot and then the file name dot yml so if you have multiple menus make sure that they have permissions to all of those those menus otherwise they will not be able to open them and then you also as an admin you can open a menu for another player using cc open file and then the player and then you can see the list of uh you got CC list, which is going to give you a list of the menus to use. And then you got a few other ones that don't have commands associated with them. You got chess commands .update, which allows you to see if there's an update available. Then you got chess commands .economy .bypass, which that one's pretty self-explanatory. Then you got chess commands .sign, which allows your you to create menu signs. 
So that's pretty much all you can do in the game. So we're going to hop over into the config files and take a look at uh, the uh, behind the scenes stuff. Okay, so here we are in our server. Now, like all plugins, you want to run your jar file in your plugins folder in here. So plugins, and then you want to put your, your jar in there. Then when you start your server, this is going to be created. So here's some of the menu options. So we're going to open up config. Pretty much basic stuff in here. Not a whole lot to do in here. You got your default colors that you can change in here for the lore and then the name, which I think F is like gray and then 7 is... I don't remember what 7 is off the top of my head. But anyway, you got your multiple command separator, which I don't know why you want to change that. Just leave that as default. And you have your anti-click spam delay, so it has to wait 20, 200 ticks. I think it's ticks. I, I don't think it's seconds because that would be a long time. So 200 ticks is like 10 seconds or something five yeah something like that before uh they can click the command again then you have your update yeah pretty much basic stuff and then uh the next thing is your language so if you want to change the default language for anything that is said in the from the plugin that's really cool you can do that in here and then you got your placeholders.yml so this what this one does is it allows you to set up custom icons in the game so these are the ones that are made default so when you put this in, this is what's run, which is actually a file format code from the Unicode symbols, and that is a heart. And then I believe this is probably a star, and then um, you got your cross, you got your arrow right, arrow left, that one in there. So if you want to add some custom ones, you could do like special, special, and then bam, and then um, whatever you to whatever you want to put in there and then you can have like a word and then that uh that you two thing again so you can have your own custom one it doesn't have to be a single um icon it could be like a string of icons when you play it when you when you put this in to uh the name or anything like that so that's that's really cool i like that option very well thought out so now this is where everything happens. So in your menu folder, you see your example.yml. So if you have multiple menus or a menu that has multiple pages, like when you, you can see your main menu and then you click on it and then you have your list of servers maybe. So you'd have your menu.yml, which shows your overall thing. Then when you click on servers, it will then open up server.yml, which will then allow your users to select a server to connect to or warps or um, whatever it is. It's up to you guys. But basically, each menu requires a YML file in this folder. By default, they only have, he has an example one, which I think is fantastic. It goes through pretty much all the things you can do. There's a couple things that are not listed on here, but I'll hit on those real quick. So we're going to open up example.yml. And the first thing you can do is you can change the name, and uh, you can notice that the color code is in here. You can change the color code as well. So that's the name that shows up at the top when you open it. I think by default, it's like example menu. I changed it to MCF tutorial. And then your, your rows can be anywhere between one and six. Six is the double chest, obviously, and then that will show up. So then the command, by default, it's menu, and then you can actually use like aliases, basically different types of commands as well, um, if you want. And that one, I, so I did a semicolon and slash M also opens up the menu. This is optional as well as the open with item is optional. So maybe if you have a sub menu, um, that's going to be open up through another menu. You don't want a command to be able to open that menu, maybe. So you wouldn't put in this command uh, section or the open with item section. You would just open it through that CC open, but it'd be actually opening through another menu. I hope that kind of makes sense. So then the open action, which this I think would get kind of annoying, but you know, you can do that. And then the sound and the tell, which I will talk about towards the end of this config file, th these are the different things that you can run when you open. So the sound one is, there's. A, I'll put a list of, of sounds in a link that you can use, but basically you can do, you do the sound and then you can actually do a comma and then the pitch, whatever number, and then the volume is in there too, which I think a volume is actually between zero and two. Um, and then the pitch is, I think, also 0 through 2, something like that. It is basically the built-in Minecraft command for for sound. So here's the open with item. 
so you can see that it was uh, it's a wool with the modifier of one so that's orange wool so right clicking orange wool will open up the item a couple notes with that if it's in a place where you can place the item <laughs> they will place the item and then it won't be in their inventory anymore so just side note on that so now we're going to get into each specific item in the menu so as you as you remember we had the spawn command which had an id of bed so it showed a bed there and then it executes spawn when you click on it and then the name is spawn and then here is the lore that is shown over that and then you have your position x and position y so x for you guys who've not taken i think geometry x is your horizontal plane and y is your vertical so x pertains to the number uh, from the left to right and actually technically in Minecraft it starts at zero but this plugin starts at one so side note on that so one through nine is going to show um, which spot along that menu that it'll show up and then why so that's you know this is it's going to show in the upper left corner so then the next one which is the next one over is actually x2 y1 so still on the top line but we're two over so now we can see that this is the wool so we got the item ID wool, data value of one. Now here's where it shows the amount. So that's the number that's shown there, the number like a stacked, and then you can put an enchantment on it like that. So that's pretty sweet. So you can also, you also have some options with some formatting codes inside lore as well as the name. And now you can see that the position is three. So now we're three over still on the top line though. Now here we go. Here's the uh, you can run a console command. So that's console colon and then what you want to run and then you have your variables. So you have a few variables that you can work with. The variables do not show up in the name or the lore. They only show up in the commands. So the, the variables are player, uh, world, online, max players and money, which we actually see down here a little bit. So then you can also run the command as op. Keep in mind this will not respect any permissions that there are so be careful with that which is why it's a command block now here is the one that will show some of the variables so we got online max players we got the player we got the world and uh, money so we separate the commands by semicolons and then each command is a colon so and this one is six over and still on the top line here all right so now here we get into taking money and giving an ingot so the price for running this command is fifty dollars and then the id that's just what it shows up as and then here you run the give gold ingots or you can use item ids as well so it's a, it tells the player with this tell colon you have been paid fifty dollars for the command that goes directly to the player doesn't get broadcast out and then it gives a gold ingot for taking for fifty dollars so if you want to do the reverse of that you can make a required item gold ingot so if you want to make it actually more than one gold ingot you want to do comma and then 10 so then that would require 10 gold ingots right there which is pretty cool and then um you give money fifty dollars so you don't need to i mean you can run eco give uh the the mom amount you know if you're running uh, a uh essentials or you can run this give money it plugs into vaults so it'll work with whatever com uh, economy plugin you use so we're eight over still on the top line that kind of stuff so then the info if we want to do keep open so basically when you click on it it does not close the menu so you want to use this keep open if you want to open up multiple menus actually so if you want this to open up into a different menu which you can uh, add the option of going open Ooh, my fingers are off open and then the menu.yml. So when you click on this option, it keeps the whole menu open, which is important for when you're switching menus. And then you open up the new menu, which is kind of cool. So that's an option in there. So then, uh, da, 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 da. so tell this command is a simple message without using commands. So that runs tell. So then you can also run multiple commands on a line. So if you want to run multiple things for clicking, which we kind of already went over a little bit, you do console colon, and then you separate it by semicolons. That's that separator command. And now we're actually on the second line here, two, two. Why is the two? 
So then you can also actually require permission nodes. Um, you got your permission and then you can make your own, like you can make it whatever the heck you want actually, which is really cool. And then basically when they click on this, it'll check this. And if it, if it, they don't have the message, it is going to display the default. You do not have the message. Now you can actually see we have that V, which is a checkbox. This is a placeholder, um, which is really cool. And then if they have their permission, it, or if they don't have the permission, this is what it's going to show. You don't have the correct permission. So side note, if you want to do apostrophe, you got to do this this uh, double apostrophe thing. So uh, you can make a menu close item, which is actually, there's no commands that run or anything like that. You just click on it and it closes by default. Now here's the, the test ones I made. Uh, just to go over a few more things, uh, you can actually make a skull that is a person's head, which doesn't kind of doesn't really work on my uh, in my example, but it's there. You have to do the ID of skull three, and then <clears throat> skull owner the play the player name. Now you can see that we're in the first row uh, or th column, and then the third row, so we're at the bottom. And then basically all this runs is rank up. And then this one just runs ranks to check it. And then this one toggles the scoreboard with that item ID. So pretty simple. You have a few other options for commands. Uh, we've talked about console. We've talked about op, uh, the spawn one. Pretty much any command that you want to run can be run when they click on the, the item. Um, the sound is the sound name, pitch, volume. There will be a link in the, in the jibbles to that. And then you got your give money. You got your open. The other option you can do is you can actually do in the command. So if you want to, I don't know why you do it here, but you can do server and then the target server. So it actually works with bungee cord, which is really cool. <clears throat> and that is all we got for the config file okay so here we are just wrapping this all up guys hopefully you guys found this enjoyable and helpful i need one last thing to hit <clears throat> so you have another node like the name the command and the id of color now color is good for leather armor only so you have the id of leather armor you could change the color of it by using um the rgb codes which i'll which you'll see on the screen here and there'll be a link in the jibbles to that of uh 00255 or whatever number number uh 255 so it's kind of a web-based thing and that's all i got for you guys so if you found it helpful please leave a like be sure to comment and uh, let me know and then uh subscribe if you're seeing this for the first time and if you have a suggestion of one you'd like me to do feel free to let me know or if you have a question on this feel free to comment i'll do my best to answer it anyway this is cause from mcfriends reminding you guys all enjoy the game god bless right click on oh what i do what it okay slow down slow down it's okay <laughs> so, i freaked out a little bit the... you right click on the lower one the...